the interview ain't till three o'clock, but I live in Greensboro and I got to drive to Durham, North Carolina, and that's like 57 minutes away. So I want y'all to come along with me while I go look for another job and tell y'all why I got to look for another job because a uh, pussy ass nigga. But um, I don't know what I'm going to do to my hair. I took my braids out. I don't know. I, I, I might just put some mousse in this hole and go back. I think I'm going to do my hair first. Okay. So I'm coming out right. I don't know. But before I do my makeup, I'm going to do my bitch, I know I ain't running out of this. I was going to be very upset. But, um, yeah, I have to find another job because I tried to slap the shit out of the bitch. Out of nigga. Bitch ass nigga. But, um, yeah. This happened weeks ago, but um, everybody was trying to help me save my job or whatever. And basically, I guess the fuck nigga couldn't take seeing me every day. So what I heard was he been wanting to go to HR on me, but my supervisor, because we was in two different departments, but our departments connected to each other. Um, my supervisor told him, you know, don't go to HR without him or whatever. But I guess Pussy got tired of my supervisor. Well, not my supervisor, sorry. My head department. I guess he got tired of my head department. Boss, um, keep giving him basically the strangle on or whatever. So he took it upon himself to sneak to HR. And that pussy told them people, told them people, he don't fucking feel safe. He's scared for his life that I'm still working on. How pussy is that? So. Do I want to do to get that? Yes. But my whole thing is I should have just slapped the fuck nigga if I knew I was going to lose my motherfucking job instead of trying. I hate my homeboy grabbed me. He should have just let me slap him. But I'm mad at myself. I'm not mad at nobody else. Just myself. I'm mad at myself because, for one, I knew better. For two, I was doing so fucking good with the company. I had just took my NOI test to be in management. I had um, did two interviews weeks apart to do different things. Um, what else did I do? Never missed a day of work. Always on time, never late. You know? But, I was trying to grow up with the company. But, pussy was disrespectful. So, I slapped pussy. I tried to slap pussy. But the whole thing to me is like, you were safer with me still working at the job because now I know not to do nothing to you because you're a police ass nigga, you're going to run the tail. So you were safer with me still working now. So, yeah. I was mad at myself. I was angry because I really wanted to hurt him. But my kids, nobody, it's not worth it and it's really not. And like they said, you want to get yourself in permanent trouble for a temporary feeling, which is right. So.
I'm gonna leave it alone. But um, a motherfucker act like they hard to find. You ain't hard to find. But yeah, anyways. So now I have to look for another job. And I'm mad I ain't got no pit because this shrinkage is something serious. Ugh. I look like a bald head bitch and I got hair. Okay, but anyways, fuck it. It is what it is. This got to do for the day. I don't feel like getting my hair done or anything. So, I was going to get my hair cut. But I don't know no barbers up here in North Carolina. So, yeah. It is what it is. So, I'm just going to... When my hair like this, I'm mad because certain parts, the fucking shrinkage ain't streaking, but yeah, it is what it is. So while I get ready to go to this interview, and by the way, I hate interviews, like interviews are my weakest. Like, it's so crazy. You would think I know how to sell myself, but I don't. So, I just want prayers. And I just want God to be right there with me, sitting next to me while I do this interview. And give me the right words to say. So, these people can say, you got the job. You can start tomorrow. Okay? So, I'm going as trying to be... Well, I applied for something else, but they called me and offered me this position. So I'm going to take it. So that's what it is. It's a primer that I use. I just started using this. I had went to Ultra Beauty and told them I need a primer. Cause I got tired of using Mica Magnesia. Like that stuff get gooped up and then it just be like cracking your face, you know? I didn't do my skin routine this time because I'm just gonna do simple foundation and um do my brows that's it i'm not doing nothing like overboard um y'all i've been i really 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 been beating myself up because i scooped to a bitch level and i promise i thought i have overgrown Letting people take me out of character, but I guess I didn't. I guess I didn't. But um, I don't know. I guess I still have to work on myself. But it is what it is. Everybody keep telling me that. You know, maybe that wasn't my destiny to grow with the company. Who knows? You know, they say God knows your plans and he already have your life planned out so everything that happens happens for a reason but god why you had to let me why why you couldn't make me strong enough to where i could have ignored that fuck nigga huh but you're living and learn and i fucking learn okay i learned I fucking learned not to fucking talk to nobody that you work with, period. That's what the fuck I learned, okay? Because the bitch do everything to get up under your skin, okay? But I have started using this. I've been using it for like um a week or so. And I love this. Why y'all ain't never tell me like, I mean, I seen y'all talking about it, but why y'all ain't never say like, go get this shit because this bitch go on so smooth and you don't need a lot 
I'll go ahead and AC, baby, because with this long sleeves, I'm trying to make hot. Hot. But, um, I love this foundation. You really don't need a fucking lot for real, for real. Mm hmm. First of all, why do my eyebrows first? Let's do my eyebrows first. So makeup, you got to sit on my face while I do my eyebrows. Okay, okay. I shouldn't even do too much with my eyebrows. Because I really don't feel like it. And you know what? Should I? I'm not. I'm doing a lot with my eyebrows. Fuck it. Okay, okay, okay. What the fuck is my um this one? So yeah, um with that being said, I had to face the music with the person that I was with before I was with him because we was working on our relationship, but we was taking it slow. Okay? We was working on it, but we was taking it slow. What a key. But um but she was saying that I'm hiding stuff from her. How am I hiding stuff when we're not together? Why would I come tell you anything about what I did to dude when dude is the reason why our household got fucked up? Fuck it. I'm not doing a lot of my eyebrows. I'm just going to put on the brow tint. At the moment, I didn't want to have it because I'm fucking pissed. You know, I'm already mad about what I did. So, got to find me another fucking job. Not happy about it, but it is what it is. I just need to be by myself, focus on myself, and if it was meant to be, it would be. Because I don't think she's over the fact of <sighs> me fucking cheating with the boy. She might say she is, but she's not. But they always say you can't help who you like, right? Me and her Totally opposite. Me, I talk my shit. Her, she's a private person. I don't know. I, I'm just, I always been the type like, I did what I did and I'm gonna talk about it. You know? But it bothers her that I talk about shit. And plus, yesterday she said some things that it just ain't sit right with me. And I know most of y'all might agree with her, but I don't give a fuck. I'm just saying, like, how could you post me? You're posting me on the same social media you bash me on. Baby, you bash me, but you just bash me off of social media. You bash me to your people's. So, I can't even look your people in the face no more. So, <clears throat> because how you belittled me. This time, I came back doing good. Okay? I 
I was focusing on me, huh? I was. But again, she says the things that ain't sit right with me yesterday. So, no, at this point, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I fucking love this thick. What is this, baby? This right here. I love it. I had to get me one. My son always using a stick on me when he do my makeup. So I had to get me one. And hey, why do you feel like my motherfucking nose running? This is the only thing, like, I don't be knowing what brushes for what. Because I'm just a foundation in eyebrow type of girl. I'm trying to get into that. Um, the fuck? I'm trying to get into the. Girl, what's this thing called? This, this, this. Because every time somebody do my makeup, they be using one of them. So I'm like, yeah. Let me feel important, you know. Let me get me one. I feel like I'm doing something or whatever. But baby, shit, I never knew what damn brush was for what or none of that shit. Gotta pick that up. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. So, I pray that I get this fucking job and get back focused. Fuck what anybody got to say. For real. I've been crying. But no, for real, I've been crying since motherfucking Friday, today, Monday. And this is the first day, literally, I'm okay. I can really say, I'm okay. Because my mental, mm -mm. Mm -mm. my mental was not stable. Mm -mm. And then, when you got your friends and your kids checking on you, asking, are you okay? What it is what is it about that are you okay word that makes you cry? Why? Why when we hear are you okay, we just cry? Don't don't act like I'm the only motherfucker one. I'm not the only one. Y'all be crying too. Just something about that are you okay word. Baby, the fact that I don't look like I got no motherfucking lashes is upsetting me. It's motherfucking upsetting me. The other day, when you guys was over here on the porch laughing at my old man. <laughs> I love that fucking video. That right there made him cry all motherfucking night. <laughs> that shit made me cry all motherfucking night. Me losing my job, bitch, I cried all motherfucking night. And like I said, I ain't mad at nobody but myself. But myself. Because what Stony Girl said, if you knew better, you'll do better. I ain't putting nothing else on. I ain't putting on no um, highlighter, none of this shit. Baby, the people want to see me. Not how beautiful I can make myself. Put on my um, Baby, I don't have this for like. A year that shows y'all don't wear makeup that much, but y'all, I'm running out though. Knew better. And just know all my real friends they cuss me out like a motherfucker dog for even scooping, scooping to a fuck nigga level. But I'm grown. I'm gonna do what I want to do anyway. So. But I do want to say to my friends, thank you to my friends, to my friends, thank you to my friends, to my friends, thank you to my friends. <laughs> but um, I would have listened to y'all, but again, 
y'all just knowing me from up here, baby, I'm hard headed. Toy still gonna do what Toy wanna do. Yeah. I be listening to y'all, but baby, I'm still gonna do what I wanna do. That's how the fuck I was feeling, and that's what the fuck I wanna do, so I did it. So it is what it is. Baby, why are you the only one sticking out? Everybody else participating. Y'all, everybody else participating. That motherfucker wanna stick out. And you still wanna hang out. Baby, go in. Baby, nobody wanna hang out with you. Go in. I look like a bald headed bitch. But again, y'all know I got hair. I'm just gonna put on some gloss because again, I, it's not like I'm going out, so I don't need to line my lips and all that extra shit. So I'm just gonna put on put on some I'm just gonna put on some gloss. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's motherfucking all. Y'all think this could work on my hair? If it don't it. I need something to make my curls pop. I need some that will show my, my, uh, what you call that shit? My curl pattern and make my hair look the length that it is, not bald headed. Y'all know some stuff, drop it down in the comments so I can go and get that bitch. Cause I want to see my strength. I want to see my growth. The fuck? I'm wearing this bodysuit with some jeans and I don't feel like wearing no heels because y'all yeah, don't know but my back hair got fucked up when I had went to the fucking Plastem concert from wearing heels that whole night and I had to go and they had put me on steroids and shit cause my back so I don't want to wear heels i'm kind of scared to wear heels now so i just i'm dressing it down with some sneakers okay is that appropriate to wear to an interview oh well the niggas do it all the time the guys they do it all the time so i'm gonna do it too period to my friends thank you to my friends to my friends thank you to my friends so this the mousse that i had used for my hair it said curl defined it really defined my curls but baby i need them to pop i need them to stretch i need them to stretch i don't need them to shrink so yeah this is gonna be my breakfast before i go I still got time to waste, so I'm just gonna eat. I don't even eat these, but I want some cereal, so this is the only thing that I have. I could eat my roommate's cereal, but I don't know. I don't eat no honey bunches of oats, so I'm in, I'm just a crispy, Cocoa Krispies. Okay, now I'm getting dressed so I can go to this interview chair. Wearing my little jeans with my bodysuit or whatever. my jeans um my hair chappies I don't know what this is like it is it, 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 at this point it is what it is I'm mad I don't have no belt I don't have no belt but Wear my J's. Definitely wear my J's. I don't know why that song in my head. Mm -hmm. That Cardi B song and that girl. I don't know that girl's name. They got my name up in their mouth. I had 
hate socks. I definitely hate socks. Um, so I'm not wearing none. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I should have put on my black and white pandas, but I don't know. I feel like I should put these on. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We gonna see. I'm mad I ain't got, got no belt, so. I'm gonna change my shoes and put on the black and white pandas. These seems like it's better. They got my name up in their mouth. Yep, the pandas was where it's at. Um, put on some lip gloss. And I'm gonna put on my lip pumper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, my earrings seem like it wants to come out. What smell good am I going to wear? Ooh. Um. Smell going to do good, girl. Mm-hmm. Because I'm trying to be a good girl for this interview. Okay? Yeah. Whew. It smells so good. Good girl. I'm not going to do too much, so I'm just going to wear my Apple Watch. I think I should get me one of them sponge thingies. Thank God I didn't make my hair spongy. Or my YSL. I had seen on TikTok this girl said when you go out for interviews, do not wear your designer stuff. But baby, and I think that is it. Wish me luck, mommy. I'm saying that to my mother. I have her right here. Wish me luck, okay? She said, you got this, girl. She didn't say, girl. She said, you got this, bitch. But um, now it's time to go to this interview. I'll be back. All right, now I am getting ready to go to my interview. It's 57 minutes for me to get there. I have to be there at 3, so I'm leaving now at 1.30. So... Why is my hair sticking out like that? Put my glasses on top of my hair. <laughs> okay, whatever. But anyways, um, it takes me 57 minutes to get there. So I'll be back once, maybe once I get there because I'm going to be driving. So I ain't got time and I got to use the map to get where I need to get. So... I won't be coming back in until I reach and then I let y'all know did I get it or not bye I had to stop the gas I could have made it but I was like fuck it that way when I get there and on my way back I don't have to stop 
so I'm getting gas and it's saying that I have I don't know like they saying I get there in 40 minutes now so I'll be back I just had to check in with y'all and I got me a little energy drink I probably shouldn't drink this motherfucking Celsius because that shit like give you energy for real for real that bitch better than motherfucking Red Bull and ain't got no sugars but I'm gonna drink it just just cause so I'll be back done pumping gas okay I wanted to give y'all an update it says that I'm nine minutes away baby I feel like I've been driving for two hours I don't know if I can do this drive every fucking day the fuck but I'm nine minutes away again it takes me 57 minutes to get here from Greensboro so yeah I just wanted to give y'all that update I see y'all well I'll be back once I get there and park because of course I'm gonna be very early and me I don't like being late so it says I get there at 227 it's 220 so now I got like what seven minutes but I think my car um thing is fast but um yeah I'll be back bye okay I'm here it's so crazy because I did not have no type of butterfly nervousness in me until I got here now I got butterflies I'm nervous I just want y'all to pray for me matter of fact don't even pray for me because T Grizzly say nigga prayed on my downfall don't pray for me don't worry about it I got this but make sure I got everything I got my questions my notebooks for my question because yes when they ask you questions bitch at the end I got questions too fuck wrong with y'all yes 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 I always have questions for this. Let me check my papers. See who the fuck do I ask for when I get in here. Um. Okay, John. I asked for John. All right, so I'm getting ready to go in, y'all. <sighs> like my heart is beating like this, and the butterflies is going like this in my stomach. But um, man, let's go. Let's go. We got this. Let's go. So I'll be back and let y'all know. How the interview went. Did I get it? Did I not? But I got this. Bye. Y'all don't kill me. I'm in the car and on my way home. Because my son had done called me. So I'm just making a video. So the interview went well. And I'm waiting on my. High, what it is? What it's called? Higher, higher on papers. So they're going to email me my higher on and then I sign them or whatever and I hope I start this motherfucking week yeah and he asked me like how was the drive and I was like baby it felt like it took me two hours to get here but the drive I can do it so they asked me what was I looking to get paid I was like I don't even want to put out no number cause baby you might look at me like I'm stupid you know so what's your offer baby what's your starting pay so he told me the numbers and then i was like out oh. and then he was like well i'm thinking around da -da 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 -da. i was like mm. i was thinking that too because my last job was twenty dollars and 45 cents so get me close to that baby and you got a deal and he got me close to that baby so he got a deal <laughs> so yeah i just I start work. I hope I start work this week. But my hire on papers, that's what they call hire on. So I'm waiting on that to come. He said I should get that in at least an hour or two in my email. And yeah, so I just want to let y'all know a real bitch got the job. Mm hmm. Yup. So thank y'all for coming along with me on, you know, my little. Trying to find a job so of after <laughs> I went and got my hair done. So, bye, yeah. Bye. And Home I always tell y'all later, make well, sure to like and subscribe. Girlfriend. I want to put this bitch out. But I was like, like, you know what? Whatever. Just twist it. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.